So we have seen a lot of political ads already this season, and uh, they, they all make so, so, sort of the same claim that one candidate or the other wants to defund the police. In a new ad release this week, Republicans are now saying that about Democratic congressional candidate Wiley Nickel. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is fact-checking it. The main claim in the ad is that Democrat Wiley Nickel voted against spending on law enforcement. That's something the Nickel campaign calls misleading. The National Republican Congressional Committee has run a series of ads this month that attack Nickel. This one goes after his vote on one bill. Wiley Nickel even voted against funding law enforcement, defunding the police. It drew a strong response from Nickel. He said in a statement that I've never voted to defund the police and I never will. But how does that hold up against this bill cited in the ad? I looked it up and found it's actually the massive budget bill from last November that was signed by Governor Cooper. It has 628 pages and contains almost $26 billion in spending. And there's way more in it than just funding for police. Nickel did vote against it, along with seven other state senators, all Democrats. But his campaign says the reason for his vote had nothing to do with spending on police. Instead, they say his opposition was because it cuts the corporate income tax and eliminates it completely in eight years, saying that will cripple North Carolina's ability to fund critical public safety programs for years to come. Another part of the ad says Nickel partnered with a liberal group and wants to end cash bail. That has to do with the pledge he signed years ago. And in my story online, I explain why it's become an issue now. Jody McCrary, CBS 17 News.